The Regular Expression Visualizer tool is a web-based application that you can use to visualize and simulate regular expressions. You can type any regular expression and the tool will automatically create two diagrams that correspond to your regular expression. Both of these diagrams are interactive, zoomable, and include support for a full screen mode. The first diagram is a parse tree. Constructing a parse tree is the first step that a regular expression engine will perform in order to decide what meaning each character will have. You can click on individual nodes in the parse tree to highlight the corresponding character in your regular expression. You can also go the other way and click on individual characters in the regular expression to quickly find the corresponding characters in the parse tree. By reviewing how the characters are grouped together in the parse tree, you can gain insights about the meanings of individual characters and how they relate to each other in the regular expression. The second diagram shows a control flow graph corresponding to your regular expression. This control flow graph illustrates the step-by-step -step process that is undertaken whenever your regex is matched against the piece of text. When attempting to match your regular expression, the process starts at the begin node and ends at either the match node or the failure node. Any path from the begin node to the match node corresponds to a piece of text that matches your regular expression. Most of the nodes in the control flow graph correspond directly to one or more characters in your regular expression. You can click on nodes in the control flow graph to see the corresponding nodes highlighted in the original regular expression and in the parse tree. Also, note that clicking on characters in your regex will also highlight any associated nodes in the control flow graph. It's difficult to truly understand how your regular expression works without seeing the decisions it makes when attempting to match a given piece of text. For this reason, every time you make changes to your regular expression, this visualization tool will automatically generate a piece of text that contains at least one match to your regular expression. If you want to review how the matching process works with your own customized piece of text, simply change the input value for the search string and the animation will update automatically. The animation will begin to play automatically but you can use the play, pause, stop, and step buttons to more carefully review the decisions that are made at each step of the regex matching process. The process of matching the regular expression starts at the begin node and continues by following the arrows to arrive at the nodes that actually do the work of the regular expression itself. At the time of creating this video, all regular expressions that this visualizer tool supports are ultimately transformed into a control flow graph that consists of the following five types of nodes. The first node type checks for a specific character at the current position in the text that is being searched. If the character matches, we continue to the next node in the control flow graph. If it doesn't match, the control flow graph moves to the failure node. The second node type checks for a class of characters at the current position in the text that is being searched. This node type effectively does the same thing as the first node type except it allows for more than one possible character at the current position in the search text. If the current character in the text is among the list of acceptable characters specified by this node, we continue to the next node in the control flow graph. If it doesn't match, the control flow graph moves to the failure node. The third node type performs a split operation. This is a situation where the regular expression matcher has more than one possible path to continue through the control flow graph. In programming terms, this node effectively does the same thing as forking a process or splitting off work into two separate threads. This can also be implemented in a single thread by trying both paths one at a time and pushing saved information onto a stack. In computer science theory, this node type should remind you of the difference between DFAs and NFAs. The fourth node type is an anchor node that represents the commonly used beginning of string or end of string regular expression characters. This node type is quite simple, as it simply checks whether the current position in the string is, respectively, at the first position or the last position. If the check succeeds, we continue to the next node in the control flow graph. If it doesn't, the control flow graph moves to the failure node. The fifth node type is the progress node. This node type is necessary to avoid infinite loops in certain regular expressions that can include repetitions of possibly zero length strings. Without this node, there are cases where the control flow graph could potentially contain cycles 
that have caused us to move around forever without making any progress. Each time a progress node is visited, it makes sure that we've made some progress in matching the regex since the last visit. If we have made progress, we move to the next node in the control flow graph. If not, the control flow graph moves to the failure node. You may find it surprising, but most commonly used regular expressions can be described in terms of these five simple node types. The primary purpose of this visualization tool is to help you understand the precise meaning of the characters in a regular expression. Therefore, this tool will also cross-compile your regular expression into a hard-coded C program that implements a search for the regex pattern that you specified. Each of the nodes in the control flow graph has a direct correspondence to several lines of C source code that are expressed below the two diagrams. You can click on nodes in the control flow graph to see which lines of code correspond to the node that you've selected. For example, the first node type that we reviewed was the character node. The C source code corresponding to this control flow graph node is shown highlighted here. First, we use the safely get character function to pick out the next character from the string being searched. Here is the implementation of the safely get character function. This function is very simple since it just checks to make sure that we're still within the bounds of the string being searched, and if so, it returns the character at that position. If we're past the end of the string, we just directly exit the process. This corresponds to moving to the failure node in the control flow graph. After we've obtained the current character, we can check to make sure that it matches the literal character that was specified in the regular expression using the matches this character function. Here is the implementation of the matches this character function. As you can see, this function is very simple since it just checks to make sure that the current character in the string being searched is the same as the literal character that was supplied in the regex. The second node type that we reviewed was the character class node. Here is the code corresponding to this node type. Just as with the character node, the C source code corresponding to this node type will attempt to pick out the next character in the string being searched. If a character is returned, we pass it to the matches one of these characters function. This function is very similar to the matches this character function, except this time there is more than one acceptable character that can match at this point in the regex. The arguments that are passed to this function include the current character in the string being searched, the number of character options to test for, and finally, the complete list of character options we want to check for. Here is the implementation of the matches one of these characters function. This function looks a bit more complicated, but it's really quite similar to the matches this character function. The difference is that for this function, we need to check through a variable number of arguments to see if the current character matches any of the characters that we've supplied when calling this function. In C, Accessing a variable length list of arguments is accomplished by declaring a VA list and using the special VA start, VA arg, and VA end macros. The third node type that we reviewed was the split node. This node type has by far the most complicated implementation as a C program. In fact, there are multiple correct ways to implement this node type as a C program. One way would be to explicitly use stacks allocated on the memory heap. Another way would be to implicitly use stacks allocated on the current thread stack memory. Yet another way is to use process forking and go to statements, which is the method that will be illustrated here. This method produces code that is very slow and extremely inefficient, but it's also very short and simple, which is exactly what is needed for an educational tool like this. Here is an example of the split node type implemented in C. This looks like a simple check of an if statement but inside the implementation of the split function is a series of process control statements. The split function starts by creating a child process to return and execute one of the branches in the outer if statement where the split was called. If that child ever reaches a failure node by exiting the process with a one, the parent process will be waiting here to detect this. The parent process will then fork a second child process to continue as the opposite branch in the outer if statement. If either branch returns a zero to indicate that a successful match was found, the parent will detect this and exit with a return code of zero to signal success to any further parent process. If both branches fail to find a match, the split function will exit with a return code of one to indicate to any parent process that both branches of the search have failed. The fourth node type that we discussed is an anchor node. 
This node has the simplest implementation as a C program. As mentioned before, the anchor node occurs when using the beginning of text or end of text meta characters. It simply checks to see if the current position in the search text is at the beginning position or end position respectively. Note that the anchor characters are often interpreted differently depending on the context, and they can either represent a position relative to the current line or a position relative to the entire text. The C code for the anchor nodes could be implemented slightly differently depending on which interpretation you would like them to represent. The fifth and final node type has a fairly simple implementation as a C program. All of the progress nodes in the control flow graph can be represented as an array of numbers that describe how many characters were accepted by the regex during the last visit to each progress node. The progress values are all initialized to minus one, and every time a progress node is visited, we check to see how many characters were matched the last time we visited that node. If more characters have been matched since the last visit, then we update the count for that node and continue. If not, the process is exited with a return code of one to send a failure signal to the parent process. This concludes the review of all C source code that is required to implement a basic regular expression matcher. This code doesn't cover every possible regular expression feature, but it should hopefully make regular expressions a bit less mysterious. Finally, this visualization tool also supports the ability to permanently link to visualizations of specific regular expressions, so you can easily share your favorite regular expressions with others. Whenever you change your regular expression or the example search string, the permalink below the diagrams will automatically update with a link to the visuals that you currently see.